returning um, so for those of you who don't know I am a full-time online seller I sell on Etsy and I also have my own Shopify store um, I have been doing this since August of 2019 in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I package and ship my orders it was a highly requested video from my Instagram and TikTok followers I am going to link my Etsy shop and my Shopify store in the description down below just in case you guys want to check it out to see how I have everything set up, to see what products I sell, etc. Just so you guys can have an idea, you can do that if you'd like. And let's just get right into the video. So on the days that I film my YouTube videos, I do not get to push out a lot of orders because filming and editing does take a lot of my time. Um, it usually takes almost the whole day. So this is all that I have for today. I have a few car freshies going out and then a car freshie and a t-shirt. I'm just showing you guys how cute they look. And then we're going to go ahead and get them packaged and shipped. So I do package and ship everything from my house. So I gather everything that's going to go inside the package, which is invoice, the products, and then the business card. And then in this case, they ordered a t-shirt. So they got a wash instruction to go with the shirt. Um, these poly millers are 11 by 8. I get them from Amazon. So I go ahead and put everything in the poly miller. And then I just seal it up and then I'm going to weigh it on the scale to see exactly how much it weighs. So I can put it into the computer so I can see how much the label is going to cost me. If you go into USPS and buy the labels from them directly, you are wasting a ton of money. Their labels are always about a dollar to a dollar twenty more than from when I do it at my house. Um, I use PirateShip.com. It's very easy and simple to use. So now I'm going to turn on my scale and then I'm going to put my package on there and then see how much it weighs so I can enter that into the computer. So I weigh out the package and it comes out to 8.7 ounces. I always like to double check to make sure I do it again and again it's 8.7 ounces. So this is PirateShip.com. I'm going to put 10 by 8 and then for the ounces. I put 8.7 ounces, exactly what came up on the scale. The reason why I put 10 by 8 for the size of the poly mailer is because once I fold it, that's the size that it comes out to. So then you click get rates and it's going to show you the pricing. So for a first class package to ship that t-shirt and one car freshie, it is $4.68. And you see where it says retail $6. That's how much it would be if you go into USPS directly and buy a label from them. So it is about a dollar cheaper if you use PirateShip.com. Highly recommend this website. And like I said, very easy to use. Then you just print out your label. And then I have a Rolo label printer. So it's going to print right here. Super quick, super easy. Um, the back is already sticky, so I just pull off the paper backing and then stick it onto my package just like that. This is a total game changer. When I first started my business, I would go into USPS and buy their labels and weigh out there and everything. It was a hot mess, especially when you're packaging a lot of orders at a time. So definitely recommend this method. So now I'm going to repeat the process for all of my other orders. I am going to get the invoice. I'm going to get the product and then a business card. I'm going to seal the package, get it weighed, and then put that into the computer so I can get my label. If you don't have a Rolo label printer, you can print directly to your regular printer, but you will have to cut the label and then tape it down. That also takes a lot of time, so I highly recommend investing into some type of label printer. It doesn't have to be a Rolo, but I recommend using something like that just because at the end of the day it's going to make things so much easier for your business and i just wanted to add that once all of your packages are weighed and labeled you can do two things you can schedule a pickup for usps to come pick up the packages from your house or you can go into usps and you do not have to wait in line you just drop off your packages into the little drop box and you're done um, both ways are super easy and convenient now I'm just going to speed up the video so I can show you guys me packaging the rest of my orders. Okay guys, so that's my way of shipping 
shipping and packaging my orders. There's so many ways that you can do it. That's just what works for me. Um, I usually have different size poly mailers, but I was out of my small ones. That's why I was folding them. Usually I wouldn't have to do that. Um, but when you're in a pinch, you just do what works best for you. Um, so that's exactly how I do it. If you guys want a full tutorial on how to use Pirate Ship, the website that I was using to print out my shipping labels, please let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to do that for you guys. Make sure to give this video a like if you learned anything or if you just enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you guys have any specific questions, make sure to drop them down below. I will always be sure to answer you guys. Everything that I use is going to be linked in the description down below along with my Etsy shop and my Shopify store. Follow me on my socials. And again, thank you for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.